Darn Tough makes socks in Northfield, Vermont. They call it the sock capital of the world. The company knits millions of socks each year that are distributed around the globe, and each one comes with an unconditional lifetime guarantee. The process starts with a single thread. Spools of multicolored wool and nylon are strung throughout the factory, feeding into Italian-made knitting machines that will turn the yarns into socks. In general, a sock is made with a cuff, a leg, a heel, you know, and a toe. That process stays the same all the time, but you, you develop different patterns in the process. Each machine is programmed to make a certain design in a certain size. It spins at up to 200 revolutions per minute as it knits each sock, starting at the toe and working all the way up to the elastic band at the top. Needles flip up and down, changing out materials and colors in order to create the correct pattern. I think we've got some that have as many as like 16 different colors in them. And the more you add to it, the more complex it is and the harder it is to get the machine to make quality of sock that we expect as a darn cup. Operators stand by to catch any issues, like a broken yarn. About 2% of the socks come out irregular. Uh, so that's quite a few if you look at how many we make. But in general, for, for production per machine, that's, that's only two or three socks a day on each machine. At the end of the process, a tube sucks up the sock, turns it inside out, makes some final stitches, and then flips it right side out again before spitting out the finished product. It takes each machine about five minutes to make one sock. So in order for Darn Tough to increase their production, they need to add more machines. Their latest expansion will take the factory from 184 knitting machines to 236. Each sock is knit about three sizes too big. Industrial laundry machines shrink them down to their final size. The last step is called boarding. The socks move through a 300 degree chamber. The heat locks the fibers of the sock into place to put a final finish on the material. The machine also pre-stacks the socks so they're ready for packaging. But before the socks are sent off, each one is carefully inspected by hand. Inspectors look for cosmetic problems that might not have been caught yet, things like loose threads or fuzzies on the sock. Then the socks are packaged and headed out to Darn Tough's distribution center. Did you ever think previously about how your socks got made? Was that ever I, not, not at all. Matter of fact, if you had seen me when they took me on my tour when I was being interviewed here, I was like a kid in a candy shop. I, I didn't, I didn't want to leave the line. Before Darn Tough existed, you know, we would knit socks for uh, J. Crew, L.L. Bean, you know, anybody that wanted them. All that work went to China and Japan and offshore. You know, American textile people couldn't compete uh, because labor was more, and that's when Darn Tough was born. And because the community, you know, stuck with us and the folks just kind of had that Darn Tough attitude, you know, it's something that the Cabots feel very, very passionate about of being here in Vermont, not outsourcing anything for quality and making an American made product that is uh, second to none.